Stop. Stop, stop, stop. I'm so jealous of you. It's gonna be a good day. Dolly said so. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kinsey. I'm a 24 year old lifestyle vlogger living in Dallas, Texas. I decided after reading the Miracle Morning Routine book that I wanted to try the Miracle Morning Routine for a week. I recorded three of my mornings. If you guys are unfamiliar, it's a book and it goes by the acronym SAVERS. So S is silence, A is affirmation, V is visualization, E is exercise, R is reading, S is scribe. So writing. I used to wake up at five in college all the time and like this for some reason, I can do six, but five is just a lot for me. Be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh wow. Time to get up. I think I'm gonna do part of the stuff from bed. We'll see. This is what I wake up to with Fitz. He sleeps on this couch or this chair like every day. <laughs> I'm gonna try all of the things besides obviously exercise from my bed this morning and see how I feel with no coffee. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little headspace, little meditation. I'll keep you guys posted. This is actually my first time really using headspace. I'm going to try to get like a beginner's one. It might be tempting to think that we can somehow get rid of all the, the negative thoughts that come in. Okay, I already feel calmer. I did a 10 minute medica medication, a 10 minute meditation. Next is A for <laughs> affirmations. So you are not making my morning peaceful, Togo. I never do affirmations and I don't really wanna just sit there and say them like I know that's probably what you're supposed to do. I'm more of a journaler, so I'm gonna write my affirmations. I also like don't have affirmations, so I'm going to make my own. I know people who like have their own, so I'm working on that this week. I feel like I'm just not supposed to be doing this all on my bed, but we're trying different things this week. The next thing is visualization, and yes, I have like a vision board, but it's on my like Canva, so I don't like that I'm getting on my phone. And do I just sit there and stare at it? You know, this is the one that I really don't really get, but I get the importance of it. I totally see it. So that's what we're doing. Just know that I'm, I'm visualizing of things. Okay, I'm visualizing. So since I am exercising last, I have reading and scribing left, which is just writing. So reading and writing in the morning, I'm gonna be reading a nonfiction book. I'm actually reading Scout's book, The Emotional Entrepreneur. I'm trying to read this very slowly so I can really get as much out of it as possible. This is what I'm reading this morning and then I'm gonna write. Guys, I just wanna say, I feel amazing. So now I'm gonna go take the dogs on a walk and then do 12, 3, 30 and then we're done. The routine definitely seems maybe a little bit overwhelming, like there's a lot to do, but it doesn't feel that way literally at all. I'm gonna try it this week in different places in my house um, and combining different things. Like I wanna do like a walking meditation as I walk the dogs, like we'll see what happens here. Fitz, do you wanna go on a walk? Do you wanna go on a walk? Are you guys ready? Do you wanna go outside? Do you wanna go outside? Yeah? I just checked my phone and went on socials for like two minutes. Haven't been on them all morning and I wish I wouldn't have even done that. It was a full hour or something before I even checked my phone, which I want to get to the point where I check it after I even work out or if I want to look on the treadmill, I don't really care at that point. Here we are, the dogs are staring at me, so I'm gonna go. Bye guys, have fun. See you later. I'm going to work out. Hey, all right, and we're done. All right guys, I've officially finished my morning routine. I liked meditating a lot more than I thought I would. I would like to try a walking meditation because people talk about that a lot. Maybe wait even longer to get on my phone. Oh, and not do it for my bed. I want to see if I like doing it from downstairs more. These are the fun things that, you know, 24 year olds have, so. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Here's my idea for 
today. I want to try combining the E with the S. So silence and exercise. I want to do a walking meditation with the dogs. For some reason, I've been in this like midday workout thing. Like this week, I've not really wanted to do um, super early like crazy workouts. So I'm gonna like work out, work out later, but I do wanna get in movement. So I'll do like a walk, but I wanna try a walking meditation because I've been seeing those everywhere. Maybe we've talking about them. And I will say I did like meditating the other day. Like I this is how I slept with my hair last night. Downstairs we go, people. It's very dark here. It's gonna be a walking meditation, okay? Coco, you were really ruining my my zen my, oh my god i can't handle it i'm not getting on social media guys okay i'm back for my walk thoughts on a walking meditation so like probably not something you would do with dogs like if i was gonna do it by myself my wedding coffee in the morning i'm into it but also i think i'd rather just listen to a podcast and do the meditation on its own but i definitely see the benefits of meditating time for some coffee and then we'll keep going with this routine Dolly. It's gonna be a good day. Dolly said so. Okay, good. God, I hate this thing. The pods are stuck. Too early for this. Do you guys ever have weeks where it's like really easy to wake up early and then weeks where it's just not? Stop. Stop, stop, stop. I don't even know what to do. Whoa. Why is this happening to me? Here I am. I am gonna be including this in the vlog because I did get request. I posted this on my Instagram stories that I got the nut pods and pumpkin spice. Um, look at the spoon that I have right now. Like, wow. So I'm going to visualize, do affirmations, read and write, I think. Are those, yeah, those are really the four. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I actually think that I have an even better setup for tomorrow that you guys will see and I think that's gonna be the one that I stick to. By the way, I did get a new nonfiction book because I do wanna read nonfiction books in the morning, um, but I'm gonna start with my visualization. So affirmations, um, comment below how you guys do your affirmations. I write them as of yesterday. One chapter of this book, which I'm actually really excited about. Now we are going to journal, and then I am off with my day. Fitz, I don't want to hear it, dude. No, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, now you can't. Oh, no, 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 you already did it. Look at you. You're so big. Comment below if you were watching when I got fit. two of my morning routine that I'm trying out, a little 5 a.m. morning routine. I liked this one, but I think I prefer yesterday's over this one. I really do notice, like I know I've only done this for two days, but I really do notice like quite a difference in me like mentally, emotionally, and even just like the motivation and discipline that I have throughout the rest of the day. And guys, you know what we always say here, what do we say? We say, I remember, confidence is built by making promises to yourself and keeping them. I learned that from Ed Milat and I think it is so true. the best ice roller ever. So now it is time for my journaling practices and I do visualization in this one. I've been doing this more, I just only filmed um, these three days. So I do affirmations, visualization, um, reading and writing. And then after that, I'm gonna work out. Like 
internal practices. Last on the list is exercise. So I'm gonna take the dogs on a really long walk and then I'm gonna do 12, 3, 30. Life hack, if you're dreading your workout and you don't really know why, because I actually like core power, um, just switch it up. Finishing my coffee, we're going on a little morning walk. Also, I just wanna say, Scout's book, The Emotional Entrepreneur, is so good. We're done with the workout. I just walked for almost an hour, and then we did 12, 3, 30. We're out, I'm gonna get ready. Good morning, everyone. Cheers, okay. All right, so I did the morning routine, I tried it out, and I will say a few things. One, the 5 a.m. hour doesn't work for me anymore. It worked in college, and right now, for some reason, it just doesn't work for me. I just get really, really tired later on in the day, and yes, I get a lot of stuff done in the morning, but I just kind of lose my, like, midday and night, which I feel like, as a 24-year-old, is kind of vital. Like, I don't want to lose my nights and feel like, I just feel really anxious that I feel like I need to go to bed at 8 p.m. to wake up super early. I definitely can do six, I can do 6.30 just on average and that makes me feel good. I already love going to like a 6 a.m. or a 7 a.m. workout class and then leaving and feeling on top of the world. Third day that you guys saw was definitely like my preferred routine and I definitely did like the challenge. I liked trying something new. I think that the things I would change, one is I'd wake up at six. Two is I would keep changing my workouts because for some reason I just haven't been into like what I've been doing lately. So I would keep changing that and honestly probably either start working out at home again or actually join like Equinox or something. I like the journaling exercises. I liked meditating. I'm still not like sold on it. Like I know that as time goes on, I'll get more into it, but I definitely notice a difference. Yeah, I liked it, but I just, I can't do the 5 a.m. because then I am so tired later and I have no life and I really value my life as a 24 year old. So I definitely did like it though because it makes me feel like I can run for president and that I'm like really productive and so love that about it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll have the book linked down below in case you guys wanna check it out. I definitely loved the routine. Maybe if I did it more, I wouldn't feel like I needed to go to bed at 5 p.m. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are new here. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Have my most energy in the mornings which is when we do the toast and that's when I'm required to have energy. By the time I get home, it's like work from bed the rest of the day.